Hey, Adam here with the trailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the draw tight ball mount. So this is just going to be the ball mount itself and you can pair that up with whatever kind of ball you need. We have a bunch on our website, but for today we're using a two inch. This is going to be for your two inch hitch receiver and it is a hollow shank. So if you did want to get a anti rattle system for this ball mount, you can fit it on the inside there. And then that's going to kind of take away all that shake and play. Whenever you're going down the road, you'll hear this all the time. Even when I put in this pin clip, which this is included with the kit. But as you can see, there's a lot of rattling going on. So if you wanted to take that out, we do have anti-rattle systems for this ball mount. The ball mount's going to have a gross trailer weight of 7,500 pounds and a tongue weight of 750 pounds. This is rated for pretty much anything that I'll throw at my vehicle. Any pop-up camper like you see here or an enclosed trailer or even some of the more heavier trailers that you may have, it's going to work and it works for me. With the rise and drop combo, this works well just because I usually have about two, maybe three inches of sag whenever I put something on. And that is pretty much all I need. I have my trailer nice and level right now, backed up to it. It lines up pretty much perfect, but it's a little bit higher up in the air. But when I put it on, it's gonna sag my suspension down and that is just right. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the center of the ball, it's going to be about eight and a half inches. This is pretty much as close as it gets when it comes to how far the ball mount is going to be from the hitch of your vehicle. So with this trailer, I don't really have anything right here, but there are some trailers that have a bike rack that goes right here. So if that's the case for you, you might want to get one that's a little bit farther away just to make sure that your bikes aren't going to make contact with the back of your vehicle. Of course I work at e-trailer, but this is pretty much what I haul with. I don't need something super fancy. I usually only haul about one or two different trailers and they're around the same ballpark when it comes to weight, length, and stuff like that. So the length is plenty good for me. The drop is plenty good for me. And I just like the fact that I just need a very simple little ball mount to get a lot done. I like how it's a hollow shank. So then you can line it up with a anti-rattle system, which I would definitely recommend. And we do have some that will come with locks as well. So if you want to lock this into place, great. But at the end of the day, it's not really that premium of a ball mount. But if you want one, we got them. But this does the job for me. And that'll do it for a look at the draw tight ball mount. 